What's going on YouTube fam? It's Josh. So there's not, okay, so let me back up. So I also do ATVs, not just Broncos or Jeeps or whatever. Um, hence the name Josh 4 by 4 is what I do. However, I do have a two-wheel drive Chinese ATV, which if any of you have any, you know they're very lethargic um, from the factory. Now, there's things you can do. You can change the chain. You can change the sprockets. You can change the carb. You can do all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, realistically, it's still kind of just a kid's ATV. Now, I've been looking online, trying to find people who are doing tire swaps or wheel swaps or what have you. Um, and they just, it, it's not there. No, everyone does the performance upgrades, but no one does any kind of suspension or lift or leveling or anything like that. So, to make a long story short, I bought a 2019 Yamaha Kodiak 700 back about a year, hmm, yeah, a little less than a year ago, um, and it came with two sets of wheels and tires, one set of regular steel stamps with some Maxxis, just regular tread tires, and a set of Moose racing wheels with Zillas, the Maxxis Zilla tires, Mudzillas. Um... I paid a little extra for it, but they cut me a deal. It was like 800 bucks for the whole set, so it wasn't too bad. Um, so today, I had some downtime because it's kind of gray. Not a whole lot to do. So uh, we went to Busco Beach yesterday. Got home today. or got home last night. This morning, I got, got them out. Got them pressure washed, all the mud off and everything. Um, and then I got to thinking. I did some reading. So... The lug, the lug pattern for the coolsters is 4 on 100. If you have four lugs, it's 4 on 100. Um, or 4 on 110. Excuse me, 4 on 110. Um, the lug pattern for the Yamaha Kodiak is 4 on 110. Hmm. Well, I always hate the fact that I look back at my girlfriend, who's short. My girlfriend's 5 foot 1. She's short. So it, the coolster fits her. Um, it fits her pretty well. But I always hated the fact that she was so low to the ground because I would go powering through some ruts or whatever and a little bit of mud and I'd look back and, you know, she'd be almost buried. So I get to thinking, can I put the Yamaha tires, the base, the basic Maxxis tires on the Coolster? The answer is yes. So here's the end result. So those are the general Maxxis tires that came on the, on the Kodiaks and the Grizzly standard from the factory. And they do fit. However, there is some things you'll... God dang, I'm shaking like crazy. There are some things you'll have to do to make them fit better. And I'll show you here in a second. You will have to do some work back here. I'm probably just going to chop that off because it's kind of useless. It's really made for, you know, looks and everything. I mean, it, it'll move and everything, but any kind of flex and it's done. Also, in the front, looks like it clears, but there you have about that much steering, which is pointless. So, the way I see it, if I take and I cut here, kind of follow this line down to the bottom, and then kind of cut back here, it should be fine. Now, I can reinforce this, right? I can get some steel, maybe some round bar. And kind of come in and reinforce this you know but i want to make sure that there's still some foot you know protection up here uh for when you have to shift gears obviously this is an automatic so it's forward neutral reverse okay that's it that's all there is it's it there is no no pedal shifting no foot shift nothing like that so realistically she rides right here okay so i'm gonna do a cut and then see how it goes that should give me more than enough clearance to have full turnability. Now, I did do the shock upgrade in the front because the shocks that came on it were absolute crap and had no give whatsoever, and it rode like crap, and combined with the very limited padding in this seat, uh, it would wind up hurting you after about an hour. I'm sorry if the video's shaky. Um, it's, I've just, I also did the entire yard this morning, uh, including uh, weed whacking, mowing, and edging, and blowing everything. I have an acre out where I live, so 
Um, that took me about an hour, and then I've been working on the ATVs since. Uh, it took me an hour to pressure wash both ATVs. We kind of went crazy at Busco yesterday and had some fun. Um, but, so I am going to order some wheel spacers for the back, uh, some two inch spacers to kick that back out just a little bit. I'm going to probably leave the front like it is. I don't want to go breaking the, they're not really ball joints, but for all intents and purposes, the ball joints on the front end, I don't want to space out the front end. Um, I can space out the back because it is a solid axle. So I can space out the back all day long. It's a single spring suspension. Not bad. Um, maybe in the future I'll look into uh, changing out the sprocket on the engine. Um, but I do know that to do that there is a lot of trimming required. And it's not that it's above my ability. It's just I don't know how I would feel about doing it. Um, anyway, so... Oh, I do need to mention one thing. You do have to turn the wheels inside out, okay? Which is fine. Uh, the Both sides are flat, but you do have to turn them inside out. That's the only way they will fit properly. Otherwise, there's absolutely no way. You have to do a whole bunch of spacers. But if you look on the back side of this, they fit perfectly. I mean, they're almost designed for it. They look great. They really do look really, really good on the back. So, anyway... So, um, my YouTube channel is very, very new. Okay. I don't have, I don't think I have any followers at the moment, but you know what? That's fine. Um, if any of you guys are just looking for general redneckery, um, <laughs> and, and stuff that probably shouldn't work, but does, um, that's me, my channel. Uh, I do Amazon everything really. Um, I rarely ever buy stuff on, on Facebook or Craigslist. Um, and I, and I don't go to the dealer for anything. Um, cause frankly, you don't need to, you really don't, unless you're building a brand new car, you know, or a car that, you know, a, a year or two old factory car, you don't need to go to the dealership. You can find everything you need on Amazon. Um, I'm not sponsoring Amazon or anything. I'm not sponsored by Amazon. I'm not trying to get sponsored by Amazon. I don't need to. I'm just saying, that's just what I do. Anyway, guys, so it is Sunday. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. Probably go tool around the Bronco um, and see what's up with that. And otherwise, if you guys have any questions or anything, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it would really help me out, and I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, any guys, anyway, guys, y'all have a good Sunday. I'll talk to y'all later.